The food ventures of Soy are powered by our patrons. To become a patron, click the patron link in the description box. Thanks, patrons, for helping to write Soy. Maybe. All right, I know the video just started, but we had to pause the video right away. So before we even go on a where is chili, riot, campaign, whatever you guys want to call it, I think Jilly needs to do a video. Drop it in the comments and say, do a video, Jilly, on Jilly Goes Corporate. Guys, I think it <laughs> I think it would be amazing content. Guys, remember to jump over to Jelly Beans' channel. Check her out really quick. But I've heard you guys, and I hope she does a video to explain every single thing. But either other way, you guys will see her back on Soy Vlogs. But <laughs> Jelly goes corporate. Anyway, let's start the video. Bye. Welcome back to Second and Island where I'm stuck with you guys and we are always smiling. So on a most catchy rake, if you've been watching the content, you might know that this is Kurt's house. That's my best friend that passed away last year. Now, after he passed in November, I told myself that, yo, 2022 is going to be a year that I did a bunch of traveling. And if you've watched the videos, you might have noticed that we went to Ghana in the start of the year for two whole months. And let me tell you, it was an amazing experience. It's amazing going to a different place, seeing a different culture. And I kid you not, it makes your year feel so much more fulfilled. Have you ever lived through an entire year? And then when you look back at it, you go, yo, boy, I'm going to do nothing. I did nothing at all. That Ghana trip for me made the year feel so good. Anyhow, we had a couple trips that were planned just after the Ghana trip, but of course, coronavirus mashed up. So those trips got pushed back to the back burner and now we are going to be taking a cruise. I am so excited about this trip because I've never been on a cruise before and it's something that I really wanted to experience. Now, let me tell you, I don't think I've ever been this excited going anywhere in my life now you might know we're going to some caribbean islands i'm not going to tell you guys exactly which one i'm going to be going to but drop it in the comments and hopefully i might be going to your caribbean island now what i like about cruises the idea of it is that you get the opportunity to experience different places before you make a decision that this is a place that you're going to be going to for a week two months or a year whatever your decisions are anyway in at the back, I have some oxtail, some rice and peas, and some thing. So I'm gonna mash up that right now, and then I'll catch you guys when we're getting ready to board for the ship or something. Guys, I am so excited. Drop a like on the video, drop a comment, share your cruise ship experiences, and I'll catch you guys soon. <laughs> all right all right L let's pause this video right here this looks good right it's about to be an amazing trip right until this happens thank you <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> What's up? How are you? Person now officially. Right. I didn't notice. <laughs> All right. All right, guys. So we are in our Uber right now, and I'm super excited to be going on this trip. But the funny story is, my cousin behind me. Yo, I think she was on the cruise before me. So, yo, quick story. So, like, last night, I heard the ship horn going off. And I'm like, yo, what's happening? Cause you have to for yourself. <laughs> what do you have to say for yourself? <laughs> Bruh. Thank you. 
Nagi Road. <laughs> All year round, all the time. Yo, cuz, why braid? Up top. <laughs> I think I just see window room and get a little circle window. No! This, this, this one is nice. This one is nice. Bon finish! $15 eat all your can or so. We have a few more final and safety points we must cover. Immediately following this announcement, the emergency signal will be solved. See how you were last night. That's how we saw Beautiful city of Miami, eh? Them. We that man, we saw no worry man, more cruises to come here. Yeah? Everybody saying goodbye. Yeah. Yeah. So customary. We have um, both a party each other. <laughs> guys so the ship has set sail and I did mention it to you guys I'm gonna take you guys on this experience and share with you as much as I can now the coolest part about being on a ship is that most things are included so it's all inclusive for most things however we did stop by a Johnny Rockets I've never been there before I had like two burgers there it was pretty amazing and the reason why I mention Johnny Rockets is there is a surcharge. So with Johnny Rockets, you have to spend $15 per sitting and you can eat as much as you want. Now the ship is big and we're getting familiarized with like where the restaurants are and such like that. So there are some places that you can have unlimited stuff like unlimited ice cream. Of course, chain restaurants, for example, Ben and Jerry's, that you have to pay whatever surcharge there is. And of course, if you are an internet junkie like myself because you're on social media, you basically have no wife on the ship unless you pay for it. It's somewhere around like $17 per day. So yes, even though it is all inclusive, there's a bunch of stuff that you have to kind of factor in to, you know, so everybody's cost on the ship might be a little bit different. Anyway, um, so far I'm not seasick. I'm so happy about that. And um, it's been amazing. So I'll put you guys in on anything else and then eventually I'll show you guys into my room. 
now. We booked two different kinds of room. Michelle has the, how can I say, it's more up on top and there is a kind of like a balcony, it's a panoramic room, it costs a little bit more, I have the basic state room which there's no windows or whatever, honestly, I never really wanted to see the sea as much because I don't know how, you know, I'll feel type of seasickness, but apart from that, the rooms are pretty similar except one has a lot more daylight than the one that I'm in which is a hot tiger, but still, I'll give you guys a tour of that really soon. So you guys should be able to see that I have a pretty standard stateroom but if you've ever stayed on a yacht you would know like this room is pretty big. So nice size bed, I believe this is a queen size bed and of course you can see you know the majority of what the room looks like pretty well lit and you know as a YouTuber I love having pretty decent lights and this is pretty good. One of the reasons why I like this room, of course, it still is able to house a little desk so I can sit down and edit videos or I can watch TV and there's a little mini couch that's there. I believe Michelle's bathroom is pretty much the same. The bathroom is not big at all and you know it has everything that you would primarily need and there's storage space so just like a hotel you'd have you know storage space to put your clothes and stuff like that then all of that is there now one of the concerns on being on a ship we plan to do some fine dining while we are here and of course that is a whole dress up occasion and when you think about suitcases you're going to be folding your clothes and you know as jamaicans if he's a yard man you will know that we don't like when we close them crush up so of course the clothes will be crushed and there is a laundry service but most of the stuff on the ship is not going to be free so the laundry service is there for about 17 dollars which i can see here so it's 1749 and you basically can stuff as many things as you can in the provided bag and they will have it pressed for you so if you think about it it's not so bad but there are a couple hacks that you can use to have your clothes you know pressed on your own if you're trying to save 17 bucks but separate and apart from that i really enjoy my room and um, I guess I think the next thing we can do is to go up to Michelle's room where I can show you guys a little bit more in detail. So whenever you're booking your room, you can, you know, make a more educated guess on which one you think is going to be best for you and your family. Funny enough, my next door neighbor, I hear them in there. It's mom, dad and a baby and they're fit into this. But for me, I'm the only person here. So it's an amazing size. You not near kid? <laughs> eh? No. Oh. <laughs> What's up? So I just bought the check. See? Right here. How much you pay? A dollar ninety-nine a day. So you can't chat to me. So I can't talk to my cousin. <laughs> I can't talk to you, so you better pay for it. Yeah. <laughs> So that is what I was talking about when you say, yeah, that panoramic oh, view. Awesome, Trust me, this 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 is sick. I kid you not, like, yeah, this panoramic view is pretty sick. All right, now the positions on the ship is pretty important. So I believe the higher you go is the more you can feel of the ship. Michelle is on the 12th floor, which is like two floors away from being on the full top. And um, yeah, I can literally feel the ship moving. It's okay. like, a, a, it's, it's hard to explain. Now in my room, which is I think on the seventh floor is better positioned in terms of, you know, for persons who get really seasick or whatever the case is. And while I was there recording the first part, I could feel little jitters, but it's nothing to make you feel, you know, queasy. You know, for example, being out on a fisherman's boat, you feel every single thing on the sea. But yeah, so far it's been pretty good, but we've been just only a couple hours in. And um, yeah, as I mentioned, we did book a couple excursions. So conveniently, yeah, 
all of the tickets so we are going to be at three different islands and the three excursion tickets are in here of course when you're booking these trips it makes sense dealing with many things as you can on the app because when you come on ship you don't have to be waiting in lines and stuff like that but um yeah we are going to go to the buffet and in this entire series i'm going to take you guys through my day-by-day -day experience i'll try to clue you in on as much as i can so that you guys whenever you take your trip you have you know you know a better idea but yo that room yeah sick well michelle says she has some earplugs so we probably can <laughs> sleep in at tonight i said pool every day wow. <laughs> <laughs> all right so if you guys look what i like about uh, mish's room is that it is a bit longer so it's a more of a longer room um this is probably quarter more than my room so yeah, yeah. i like that <laughs> Oh, I'm trying to find the differences. I mean, not many differences except that is the main one. That's that that's pretty amazing. I think you have a bigger bed. It seems a little Maybe bit bigger. Not. Maybe not. Maybe not because yours is positioned that way. Yeah, that's that, that's so probably it, why. You know, may, I don't think it's the bathroom is basically the same. Basic, but just here, I just have this. Yeah, you space. have a little bit more space and there. And that window, otherwise no difference yeah but this but it, this is an amazing room though oh i think you have um yeah I you have, have yeah you have better draw space oh, okay. wow it's pretty and amazing but here. that's a seller for me man that, that, that view is amazing and then i have more space over here as well oh yeah so oh like yeah if it's two people you know you have enough space to hold everybody's clothes about how much hundreds more did you pay than my room i paid twice what you paid for yours really huh <laughs> hmm if you're paying twice that you paid for mine i mean if you come with a woman and thing yeah i then yes. yeah me would definitely say yeah but if for example for my relatively i'm doing a solo travel um then yeah mm -hmm. yeah but if you're traveling with your partner yeah yeah definitely yeah. Need. but i'm treating me straight so, yeah Talk about that though, because a lot of people sometimes they don't know that they need to like treat themselves. Like you are I traveling, listen, you have to treat I yourself. work hard, so I am going to treat myself, and this is my experience. I'm not being selfish. I'm just being me. Facts. Uh, right? Because. Facts. No. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. In you go. All right, and we are off. So we're gonna go down to Windjammers to get something. If you guys can hear in the background, there's little, little classic music. It sounds almost like a circus. Yo, amazing. One thing we can say, them festive bad partnership here. Hey! Like you're enjoying for yourself, man. Shadow. Of course. Oh my gosh. And there's like oh a bunch of people. Look That's just on. Turn, 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 turn. Oh yeah, I can see it here now. Oh no, oh my god. Well, we like, oh, you didn't, you didn't even press it. <laughs> So being on the ship, it feels like a huge island because everywhere is like a different atmosphere. Back there, you could hear all the music. Up here, it's pretty windy and it is raining as well. And they're running a movie on this big screen. So that's kind of nice. Anyway, we're going to head to Windjammer and get ourselves some dinner. What are you want, my nice? Oh, God.
All right, so we got something to eat, and as uh, you might notice, Windjammer is fully buffet. It's like a whole buffet style. I don't know if it's because of the time that we came here, but there's not like a bunch of people. You don't feel like everyone is clamoring for what you're trying to get, like I've seen at a couple hotels, and they have a quite good variety of stuff. I haven't tried the food yet to tell you what it is or how good it is, actually. Um, I got some steak, I got some pork ribs, some vegetables, and some mac and cheese. I'm gonna have that and I'll tell you guys what I think about it. But so far, the experience has been really good here. Really enjoying Royal Caribbean and the Explorer to see. Yo, it's been a vibe. Yo, I tell you. The food for me here, for a buffet style type of thing, for me, 9 out of 10, yo, the chef them go on with them nice clean self. Now, I just went and got some dessert, so I'm going to try that. Usually, I find that buffet type desserts are not quite good. I got an assortment of them, so let's see. But so far, I kid you not, I don't think I see myself going to a hotel over a cruise. I think there's just so much more that you get from the cruise. It's just a moving hotel. The food so far has been a lot better than I've had at a lot of hotels. The all-inclusiveness of it and then the fact that you're going to different places to get, you know, quick glimpses of that. That's just amazing. Anyway, to the dessert. <laughs> the food. How oh, the food stay for you? How is it? The food is good man, the selection is yeah, I like it. And I like that them said so that they change the, they the change menu, every, menu night, every night. Which so, is cool. So this is good. We saw Indian and there was an international one, there was American and there was Italian tonight. So we'll see. I guess it might be the same but like different stuff on the menu. So we'll right. see tomorrow. Right. Cheesecake, that's it. Cheesecake, how about it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. It's good. Yeah. I like a cheesecake that has that type of, how can I say? It's like a, a box cake crust. Love that. Love that, love that, love that. It's it's pretty good. If you love a New York cheesecake, spot on so far. Now go on. Cheesecake. Mm -hmm. yep. And this is our, a mousse? No. Boston cream pie. The Boston cream pie. This never put the door resistance. <laughs> it just run right through with a spoon. It's not too sweet. It's not too sweet. Mm -hmm. I like the little bitterness of the chocolate on top. You know, I'm honestly I'm not a cake fan. Cheesecake is my thing. I kind of stick to that. But um yeah, I think if you're a cake person, you like a Boston cream pie. Yeah. Feels really good. Tastes really good. This is like some peach tart or whatever. Like I said, I'm not really a cake person, to be fair. But it tastes good. Alright guys, I honestly don't want to bore you guys anymore because it has been a super long day. We were sat there contemplating what we're going to do for the the rest of the evening. What I love about this cruise is that there's an amazing app where you can just set in your schedule. You can see all the events, all the activities. I think the most thing that interested us was a nightclub that I have. It's going to start somewhere around 10 o'clock. But um, let's see how that goes. Um, don't want to bore you guys anymore and make the video too long. So I'm just going to pack up a couple stuff that I have, you know, get myself a little bit more comfortable because we are in for a cruise. So I'll catch you guys in the morning where we'll see what we do while we're out on the sea until we get to our very first Caribbean island. Don't forget to drop it in the comment what Caribbean island you think we are going to. And remember to drop a like on the video. It does help out a lot. And thank you guys for subscribing. And if you haven't, please do. But until then, remember to see things, love, nature, and adaptation. And always remember, keep the link.